Well, regarding the 1.5 uh, degree uh, goal, um, first of all, I would say that, of course, we need to wait and hear what the IPCC report says. Um, I think uh, this process has uh, also a lot of weight because it has been really based on, on scientific evidence and the role of the IPCC is very important and this is why the, the COP has uh, asked the IPCC to come forward with this uh, report by 2018. Um, but um, at the same time, I, I think uh, what we need to stress is that uh, there has been a pace of transformation that uh, in many areas of the economy in different regions of the world that was not uh, seen as feasible only a few years ago. So I think that um, this is where we are trying to concentrate to uh, promote as much of these transformational developments and as much action at the national level on in the communities as possible. Well, of course, um, in order to reach the 1.5 degrees uh, goal, we need to have um, an increase in the ambitions that countries have put forward. We need uh, to um, report also um, very important breakthroughs in terms of technology. We need to um, be able to mobilize um, uh, financing that uh, can allow countries to trigger some of the processes that could um, lead them into uh, inc increasing their, their commitments. So um, I would say uh, it's important that we wait at the, at the, for the report of the IPCC to see uh, what are the models that they are uh, that they have development, what could be the the perspectives, and what would be those uh, specific changes. And for the time being, to concentrate really in promoting as much changes and as much developments as possible.